Hello and welcome uh, to my tutorial. I'm Adam. Today I want to talk to you about creating sub bass in Native Instruments Massive. You can see my preset here, Coltman Sub. Um, this is something that I've been tweaking and changing over the years to create a preset that's perfect for me. Um, it is a basic sine sub sounds, but I've added uh, various macros uh, to make it quite customizable and fulfill all my needs. So before I share it with you today, I do want to stress, please listen to this tutorial on decent speakers or really good headphones so you can hear what's going on in the bottom end. So let's get started with a new sound. So oscillator one, we want it on square and saw, all the way over to saw, intensity and amp up, we're going to filter one and we'll have it on minus 12. With oscillator two, we want sine square again on minus 12 and then all of these the same onto sine intensity all the way up amp up again through filter one oscillator three we want it on a sine square as well again down to minus 12 on a sine we're going to leave this for now because that's more of an effect which we're going to use later so these are both going through filter one on the filter mix i want it to be series and on the mix here, only going through filter one, we're going to turn filter two off. We're not going to be using it at all. And here I want to use low pass four resonance around about 10, 11 o'clock. And then what we'll do is we'll pull the cutoff right down for now. And then we'll go into envelope four, which you can see here is controlling our amp. And we just need to move attack to about nine o'clock and release to about nine o'clock. These things here, it just stops you getting clicking at the start or the end of your notes. So what I'll do now is we'll start playing some stuff on my MIDI keyboard and we'll bring up the cutoff as we go so we get a nice subby sound. So let's begin. So as you can see, the more you bring up the cutoff, the more top end of the frequencies you've got. Um, we do have a, a saw wave over here going on which gives you a bit more rasp, a bit more top end. But around about here, I think we're getting a nice mix between the two. So that there is your very, very basic sub sine sound. Um, you could stop there. You could just use this uh, as much as you want, and I'm sure it will do a good job for you. However, I would like to show you all the other bits and pieces I've got going on, on my, in my preset. So let's just go back to it here. So as you can see, everything's the same. You know, we've got our, the oscillators set to minus 12. They're going through filter one there. So the first thing I want to show you is what we've got going on with oscillator three. So this is to get us uh, quite a phasey, uh, wobbly effect. So what we've got going on is we've got the pitch assigned to a macro here of one semitone. Uh, and basically that means when we move our tune up and down, let me just show it for you here. As it detunes, the oscillators start to phase with each other and we get quite a nice wobble, uh, which is good in some situations. It's also controlled by our drive here on, uh, on the amp. Next thing we've got going on here is we've got an LFO controlling the amp dials of our oscillator one and two, which we've got here. And basically what I like to do sometimes by modulating the amp of the LFO, you can control a wobble in your sub bass. So again, I'll play you a note and I'll move the amp and you can hear what's going on. Which I quite like doing, you know, uh, in various situations. It's a nice effect to bring in, gives you a bit more movement in your bottom end. Next thing we've got going on over here in our modulation of the oscillators, I've got a ring modulator on oscillator one set to minus 24, macro assigned here. And yeah, you know, it just brings in a, a classic ring modulator sound, gives you a little bit more top end, gives you a little bit more texture when you want it. So again, I'm going to play a note and, uh, and modulate the macro and you can hear what I mean. A subtle effect but um, it can really work especially when your tracks are being played out on bigger rigs 
Next thing we've got going on, I've got a sign shaper here, macro uh, controlling the drive. So uh, we've got that over here. I'll show you that. Gives a bit more saturation to your sounds. Um, nice, yeah, just nice. Brings in a little bit more top end as well. And then finally, over in our effects here, I've got a, a tube distortion with the dry wet and the drive being controlled by a macro. So here we go. Gives you a bit of distortion, which is nice sometimes. And then finally, my EQ here. I can boost the low shelf with my bass macro here when I need to. So at the moment it's turned all the way up so we can just pull it down and you can hear what's going on. So there you have it. That is my Coltman sub preset. Uh, I hope that helps. I hope it inspires you to go out and uh, tweak your massive presets of your own. If you've got any comments or questions, please do sound off below. Um, I will answer as many as I can uh, and I'll hear from you soon.